Good afternoon, and welcome to AIADA's Auto Talk. I'm your host, Rachel Soleimani. Before we get started, a few quick reminders. Anyone who registered for today's program will be receiving a copy by early next week. And if you have any questions, be sure to enter them into the Q&A bar at the lower right-hand side of your interface. Today, we welcome back our friend, Sean Stapleton, founder and CEO of Dealer Teamwork. Dealer Teamwork has been an AIADA affinity partner since 2019, and we love having them on our roster. But Sean, we're excited to have you on today, and I'm going to let you take it away. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, AIADA. And I want to remind everybody, this is an AIADA exclusive presentation we're doing today. So if you have any questions, follow-up suggestions, or even criticisms, please feel free to reach out. Uh, again, Sean Stapleton, Dealer Teamwork, and we're proud to be part of the AIDA family. So let's talk about today's seminar topic, total search. What is total search? Why is it important? How is the future of digital marketing changing through search? Well, let me start with a couple bullet points, real quick topics, right? Integrating SEO and SEM and data and data tracking. Let me start with this. Remember, the top position in Google is not always the dealer that pays the most. Number one. Number two, Google still is the number one conversion tool for all shopping of high elements like cars. So I ask yourself a question, how many of us are looking for a new car, a used car, a service appointment, something like that, and don't use Google? We see it's the number one channel still out there. And number, the last one I wanted to bring up is, are we looking for more quality leads or quantity? And let's get into that now. What do you call page two of Google? I have no idea. I've never been there. Sorry, dad joke. Had to start with that. But remember one thing. Customers can't buy what they can't find. So what we talk about total search is integrating SEO and SEM. Remember, SEO stands for search engine optimization. That's doing things that make your website and your ads more relevant to search engines. Again, more relevant means being found, more clicks at a lower cost. SEM, or paid search, search engine marketing, is when you pay money to have your ads put in positions in Google. What we're going to talk about today is integrating SEO and SEM. We love to call it teamwork makes a dream work, but what are the advantages of using this? Let's talk about the unpaid strategy first, or SEO. This is about preparing your website and your contact so that search engines can read it, rank it, identify it, and bring it in for what's called organic traffic. We'll show you this in a little bit. Organic traffic is what search engines look for to answer the question. Remember, Google's whole purpose and Facebook is connecting people searching for products and services to the best answers possible. It's an opportunity to get highly qualified traffic fast, right? That's paid. Organic takes a little bit more time. It's earned. By doing the right things right, you will identify organic listings for your dealership. So note to self, people listening, go out and take your make and model. Let's say you're a Honda dealer, Honda Accord you want to sell. Type in Honda Accord lease, finance, savings, near me, service, whatever you want. Those are keywords. And see if you have a what's called an organic listing. That will be below the sponsored. If you're not showing up and your store's been there for more than a year, that means your website isn't set up properly for organic traffic. If you have any questions, reach out. Paid. Paid is a fast way to the top. You pay money to bid on keywords and phrases, and then that way when someone types in those keywords, your ad shows up. The more relevant and the higher the quality score, the higher your ad shows up. Again, what we're going to be talking about today is using both SEO and SEM together to create as much traffic as possible. Talking about total search, it's really about deploying metrics that get you found. The great answer is to use both together to get the most valuable screen content and spacing on the first page. So we're going to use both our paid search and our SEO together to create better organic traffic more relevant paid search, and then use the keywords and findings from that valuable insights to make your website better, your ads better, your landing pages better, and ultimately return on ad spend higher and stronger. So let's talk about this. 
The benefits of total search, reaching the right customers at the exact moment they're searching. On the right side of your screen is called Google Vehicle Ads or now Google Shopping Ads. I really recommend that everybody listening runs these ads. They're extremely cost effective. They're located in an amazing spot, particularly on mobile. And it answers the question when people are looking for, <laughs> excuse me. So it has a picture, it has your URL, it has your pricing in it, really high quality images that link directly to your website. We see Google shopping ads as cheap as 40 cents to as much as about 90 cents per click, making it extremely good way to get your inventory out on the search engines. Okay. Google needs more than just helpful content. Things that will help drive better clicks in your quality score are pricing, offers, um, OEM discounts, things about your store, quantity. We'll get into that in a second. On the right side is called a Google Business Profile. We want to make sure that you and every one of our stores has both claimed and verified the Google Business Profile. Google Business Profile show up about 70 to 75% of the time. It's critical. It has your phone number. It has your service options. It talks about the vehicles you sell, even has a spot for the vehicles you're selling. It includes a link to your products and services. It's fully trackable. So please make a note, make sure you have your Google business profile claimed and verified. Let's make sure it's set up properly and tagged for tracking. Once again, any questions, concerns, please just reach out to AIDA or dealer teamwork. We'll be more than happy to walk you through and help you set this up properly. Let's talk about Google Ads and quality score. Why does it matter? Well, guess what? The top ad is not always the paid the most. Let me say it again. The top ad in Google is not always the ad that paid the most. It includes things like ad rank, cost per click, quality score, and landing page experience. So the more relevant your ad is to the keywords typed in, the higher the ad relevance or rank. It then looks at what's called the expected click-through rate, how many people are going to click on that ad, and where are you going to land them on your website. So your landing page experience is critical, your expected click-through rate is critical, and your ad relevance. Let me walk you through that. Look in the upper right-hand corner. So if I had typed in, uh, just for giggle's sake, Ford F-150 for sale, or this could be Honda, this could be BMW, this could be Mercedes, it doesn't matter. The ad in the upper right, look, that's a low ad relevance. If I typed in Ford F-150 for sale and it says Castle Rock Ford, great deals happening, that's not really relevant to for sale. Well, if we switch it to include things like how many Ford F-150s I have available, or what's the finance rate on a Honda Accord, or a BMW M3 and include it in the ads, it will change the position. If you look very carefully, the top ad for the Ford F-150 had low ad relevance, landed on page two, position four. The ad below it example that included the number of availability, the finance payment, the start from, et cetera, ended on page one, position one. So yes, you can pay your way to the top or you can do the right things right and get ranked higher without spending more money. How do you do it? Closely match your ads to the user's intent. Make sure your ad relevant matches the targeted keywords. And make sure where you're landing this traffic on your website has a highly relevant landing page that has the same exact penny perfect payments. How do I get my ad relevance higher? Key points, make sure you're doing things like make, model, payments, OEM incentives, things like that. Things that are low relevance, family owned, we offer great deals, things that anybody could say. Please use transactional data. Again, if you look on the right hand side and if someone typed in 2023 Ford F-150 or 2023 Honda Accord, you know, lease price or savings or deal or service. Make sure your ad answers the question. Notice the red underlines. Based on the keywords typed in, we assumed it, it's a lease in a 2023, so we put the word new. Because it said lease, we included a lease payment and the URL to the website. Because we've come through this crazy times with 
production limitations and COVID, et cetera, inventory matters. So to me, if I was looking for a Honda Accord and you had 14 in stock, that would be better than the store that had two. I also would love to know the starting price. So on the right is a very highly relevant ad example that includes both the make, the model, availability, starting prices, ad extensions, hours, directions, buy versus lease, trade in inventory, and a phone number. All of those things in that make it a highly relevant ad, which means a high quality score, which means Google is going to look at it as a higher quality score. More likely, someone's going to click on your ad and convert. How do we get a higher click-through rate? By making sure we include the elements required, such as make, model, year, OEM incentives, landing page. If it's an APR, include it in the ad. I'm not telling you to put discounts on your cars. If I type in Honda Accord 2023 lease payment, answer the question. Include the lease payment, whether it's Tier 2 or Tier 3. That ad is much more likely to be clicked on because it's matching the ad intent. So if you look carefully at the ad again on the right, here's another example with the landing page that matches. So consumer friendly relevant, make sure this works on mobile because most of the conversions we're seeing now in most cities are mobile. So if your ad said Ford F-150 for $675 a month or finance for $652, for 72 or buy for 50,720, you can see the landing page below it, how it matches the penny. It doesn't say MSRP. It doesn't say call for price. Use your pricing or transactional data as clickbait. Again, this is how you can dominate page one. This is how you can increase your click-through rate. This is how you can increase your organic traffic by matching this to a highly dynamic landing page that changes regularly and is searchable. Also, please make sure your load speed on your website is fast enough. Slow load speeds on mobile will be considered a negative and make sure the keywords and relevance and video and disclaimers are all on that page. Think about it. If you're looking to buy a new Honda Accord or lease a new BMW or learn more about the new Mercedes Benz, the more information you can give the consumer, the more time they stay on your site, the more penny perfect the payments and offers and the information required to buy, lease, or finance that vehicle, the better set of eyes you get on and the higher quality traffic you'll get. So how do we maximize visibility, delivering the right content at the right time? It's really simple. Let's make sure we have highly optimized pages high quality landing pages that talk about the vehicle, maybe the different trim levels, maybe the pricing, maybe the discounts, maybe the tow packages, how it compares a 22 versus a 2023. All of these things are critical. There's no reason as a car dealer that your website shouldn't help the people in your community answer the questions about the make, the model, the comparisons, the mileage, the safety factors, towing capacities, drivetrain options, transmission options, miles per gallon, all of those things, all of the things that someone would ask you in front of your face in your showroom, make it available on your website. Let's be very honest. Your website is your new digital showroom. And if you don't dominate via search, both SEO and SEM, paid and organic, you're losing opportunities. You can start to see on the right hand side of including the make, the model, the city, you know, finding the other trim levels, things like that, that makes it real easy. So again, paid versus organic. If you look on the right, a shopping ad is considered paid. Every single dealer listening to my presentation should be running shopping ads, Google shopping ads for new and used. And all of that traffic should go to your website not a third parties, because if they go to your website, what we can do it's called retargeting and we can offer display advertising to those people. We can track those people, find other people that look like them and make sure we're putting our ads in front of them as they continue their shopping experience throughout the web. Paid search is immediate results. It's very, very precise or laser targeting. You pick exactly who you want the ads to show up and who you don't want it to. They're highly competitive and they are very, very good return on investment. 
Okay, you have to do a good job with paid search with high quality score and relevancy, or you can easily go through your budget. Paid search is incredibly competitive. So find a Google Premier partner, ask lots of questions and review your results often. Digital marketing is not set and forget. Again, we are happy to help you if you have any questions. Organic. Organic, the green hour is on your right. So if I typed in Honda CRV near me, if your website's set up properly, you're going to notice that Google and Bing and these other search engines will list out the websites that they think are really relevant. So you'll notice the sponsored ad above it is for a, a paid search ad. But the two green arrows are Google saying, I think this website in this area would help answer your question on the query Honda CRV next me. So there, right there, new Honda CRV for sale in the location. Look, there's another one, Mohawk, new and used Honda. We've got great supply, et cetera. What these things are great. The more opportunities you can get on the first page, the better. Heck, why not take up the whole front page if you can? Remember, you only pay for your paid search or your shopping ad if they click on it. So let's give them lots of opportunities to find you, click on you, and push your competitors to page two, where no one really goes. Synergistically playing between paid search and organic is critical. We love to say teamwork makes a dream work. Well, here's the teamwork. Let's make sure we have a very good listing, just like you see on the right. I'd love to see Google search ads at the top. I'd love to see Google shopping ads that include pricing and location. I'd love to see a sponsored ad and an organic listing. If you're doing that properly, you're going to dominate your local search. Let's use the keywords people are typing in to make sure your landing pages are set up. Let's make sure that your landing pages have the information to get organic traffic. And let's make sure you're technically set up properly. H1s, title tags, URLs, things like that are done perfectly. So search engines can identify when to promote your services and products and when not to. Also, reporting is critical. You should always know what did I get for my budget? What did it cost for a phone call? What did it cost for a form lead? How many store visits am I getting? What's it cost for a hard conversion? If you don't know this data, please reach out. We'll help you with your tagging and tracking because the better you know how digital marketing works, the better you can apply it in your favor. And let's be honest, digital marketing is not going away. If anything, it's growing more and more every single day, month, and year. So let's go dominate your digital marketing, your first page experience, both for paid SEO and for social media. Here's some reporting metrics. The first stage of SEO sales funnel is about traffic and visibility, and then the content ranking and engagement interactions. Your second stage is how many users returned, how many purchased, how many emails were opened. The third is most profitable. What was your profit per lead? How many of your conversions per customer? In other words, how many people saw your ad, clicked on your ad, called your store, visited your store, and ultimately bought a product or service from you? Because at the end of the day, we're really in business to make money. So how much profit did you make per lead? If you don't know that, please reach out. We'll show you how to do that. Local SEO is critical. Directories like Dear Siri, where would I get my oil change? Dear Siri, where's the closest Honda store? On the left is an example of a Google business profile. Make sure your website button is tracked. Make sure your location is identified. Make sure all your service options are there. In-store pickup. A really new one on electric vehicles is do you have a charging station at your facility? What departments do you have? Service, parts, tires, oil changes, maybe even an insurance company in your store. Make sure your hours are correct. Notice it says Columbus Day may affect these hours. We just came through a holiday. Make sure your hours are always accurate. The worst thing you can do is have an inaccurate service hours and someone tries to come visit you and it's not open, as well as your products and services link and ultimately your appointment link. And again, there's not hard. We're happy to help you with this. Make sure your NAP, your name, address, and phone number are all set up. We like to push to 80 different directories. That's like Bing, Yelp, Waze, Yellow Pages, etc. All those things and make sure they're optimized perfectly.
So in the end, the final, SEO and SEM, think about them working synergistically for a maximum return on investment. Establish goals for both SEO and SEM. Make sure you look at the keyword rankings. Which keywords do I want to place ads for? Where do I want to rank? Things like Honda service near me or used Hondas or new BMWs or new Subaru. Those are keywords that you probably want to be ranking for. New Subaru lease payments, et cetera. Make sure that we target the proper audiences. And let's make sure that we have an adopt and integrated approach that uses SEO and SEM together. And by all means, please make sure we're tracking and monitoring our results so we can make sure that we're doing the right things to get a good return on ad spend. So with that, I'd like to say thank you to the AIDA. I'm sorry this was a quick presentation. I love to make sure that our dealers are using SEO and SEM together to drive the best possible results. If everything I said sounds great, you don't, want, don't know where to start, reach out to Rachel, reach out to us, whatever makes sense or any vendor, and ask these questions. How do I use my paid search and my SEO together? What should my cost per lead be? What should be my cost per store visit? How much profit am I getting per RO or used car sale or new car sale? And factor that into your budget. If any of this makes sense, awesome. If it doesn't make sense, please start by picking up the phone. With that, I'm going to open it up to any questions that are out there. Rachel, do we know if we have any questions? Sean, um, I don't see that any came in, but did you have any emailed to you? Yep, before? I have several. So first one is, if I do SEO and SEM together, can I reduce my paid search budget? Great question. It all depends on the ROI and goals. But yes, if you're using search engine optimization and search engine marketing together, you should be able to reduce your reliance on paid search because ultimately you're going to generate leads via paid and organic traffic. I'm going to go one step further and I'm going to suggest we incorporate social media as well. But start by understanding what's the cheapest and best return on ad spend. What we see is organic traffic closes at the highest percentage and paid search is one of the strongest ROIs. Using them together will supercharge your SEO and SEM, driving a lower cost per lead or a lower cost per unit sold. Next question. I don't know where to start with my Google business profile. I've heard it's critical. How do I get started? Just reach out. AIADA and myself have plenty of documentation to support you. If that's not, if you're not comfortable with it, just call us. We have plenty of resources but make sure you've claimed and verified your Google business profile. A suggestion, if you listen to this presentation today and you wanna know how well you are, take your number one volume vehicle. Let's say you're a Honda dealer, Honda Accord. Type in Honda Accord offer, deal, payment, lease, finance, savings, service, nothing wrong, and see if your Google business profile shows up and see if you have a paid search ad that's relevant and see if you have an organic listing. If you don't have any of those three, you're a little bit behind the eight ball and we really need to get you going. You can't buy what you can't find. So if you can't find a Honda Accord ad or a Honda Civic organic listing or your Google business profile or a Google shopping ad, I don't know how you expect other people to find you in your market. Yes, I get it that people that have shopped with you before will know how to get a hold of you, but we can't live on just our current customers. And with today's particular market share, there's less and less people that are brand loyal. So let's make sure you're getting your ads out in a relevant manner with high quality content, your Google shopping ad for new and used are optimized properly, and you're generating both paid and organic opportunities. Last Sean. question. Oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. You're good. Last question. How do I get started with Google vehicle ads or shopping ads? Great question. We'll identify how we take and set up a basically a feed that goes to Google 
We can then determine what budget you want to spend. It's completely controllable. Everything's trackable. But yes, third-party lead providers are using Google Shopping ads as well because the conversion rate and costs are so low. So please, if you take one thing away from my presentation today, please make sure you've optimized your Google Business Profile. Please make sure you're using Google Vehicle or Shopping ads for new and used. And please make sure you're getting an organic listing when you're searching for your products and services. Sean, thanks so much for joining us today and for sharing this helpful information. Again, you will all be receiving a copy of this webinar by early next week. Join us back here on Tuesday, October 24th, as CNA National shares guidelines for successful participation accounts in today's economy. So be on the lookout for promotions on how to register. For more information about AIADA, visit AIADA.org. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day, everyone. Thank you.